Hi, this is Tim. Today I need to cut the square hole here into this enclosure. And if you recall from one of our previous control panel videos, we compared cuts on plasmas, jigsaws, and cutoff wheels and found that for a manual cut, the cutoff wheel really did the best job. But even with it, you had to come back and cut the corners of it, either with a handsaw or a jigsaw. And I always use a handsaw just because I don't want the jigsaw grabbing coming down marking the panel. But I just got this new oscillating multi-tool and I wanted to see how it would do in the corners. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. Now, if you're wondering about the whole jigsaw versus cutoff wheel thing, I'll put a link in the description. Okay, so that made cutting this much easier. Okay, so the multi-tool really made cutting these corners much easier. You still don't have the danger of it grabbing and nicking it with the jigsaw. So overall, I think I will use the multi-tool on this in the future. So hopefully this will help you. Uh, you know, cutting square holes manually in panels, I think is something that we all need to strive to find better ways to do. So if you have any tips, feel free to put them in the comments and we'll try them out. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.